Hi everyone. Oh my, it is Friday, January 18th. Um, and I'm just updating because um, I did have my first OB appointment this week with my new doctor. Um, and as most of you know, I was um, quite nervous just because I have never met her and because um, she's not an MFM and she's working with the MFM so I don't have to go so far. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that me and her were on the same page. So um, I did meet her on Wednesday, Wednesday, yes. And she's really, really nice and she seems really good. And I'm so far, I mean, it's been one appointment, but I'm really happy with what she had to say. So um, first, I'm gonna jump, I'll come back to that, but I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna talk about the, last time I think I talked to you guys, I was talking about um, my thyroid test results and my like itchiness. So I did get all my test results back from that doctor's office visit and it's all normal. So there's nothing blood work wise that's making me itch. Um, I am still itchy. In fact, I'm itchy enough at some points to scratch my legs till they almost bleed. And um, I, my skin is not that dry. That's the funny thing. I just don't know what it is. But either way, it's nothing serious. So I guess I can deal. Um, so, and another thing that happened was Monday, yeah, Monday, I think, um, at school, we were doing our blood pressures and, um, I had been feeling my heart had been pounding and, um, no real reason. Like I wasn't nervous or anything. And when I put on the little pulse reader, my heart, heart rate, my pulse was a hundred and like 15 and that scared me because I was actually resting. We weren't doing anything major. And so um, my my uh, instructors who are like really nice, um, they were like, you know, just sit back here and, you know, calm down, whatever. So I sat for a while and I got a hold of my endocrinologist because, you know, the racing heart and the pounding heart definitely comes with the thyroid. And I had just had my blood work done 10 days earlier and it was normal. So... I, uh, I, but I, I, I got a hold of the endocrinologist and they said, please come in for blood work now. Um, and so I went, um, I left class and I went straight to get it done. And the next morning I had the results and they are completely normal. So they said to talk to the doctor about maybe anxiety. Um, they also mentioned possibly doing like a cardiology workup just to be safe. Um, I haven't gotten to that point and I haven't had any problem with it again since, um, so back to the OB, um, we talked about when we will start um, the progesterone shots and the cervical length checks um, that are ultrasound cervical length. And it's a, I told her that she said something about that usually people start the, the um, I think it's the cervical checks between 16 and 24 weeks. And I'm like, yeah, well, both my losses were before 24 weeks, so I want to definitely start them sooner than later. So she's like, well, let's first, let's just, let's get an ultrasound machine in here and do an ultrasound so I can give you a due date and we can measure the baby. So we did, and she found the um, ultrasound machine pretty quickly, and my um, the baby is measuring um, right about... It was confusing because like some of the measurements were different than others, and she said it's actually measuring ahead of what we kind of thought it was. But you know, my my daughter um, who's eight is w always was long, so like I'm not sure. Um, I'm kind of pretty sure when I conceived, but anyway, she kept the due date of July fifteenth, and um, that's so that put us at like fourteen weeks in a few days. The baby was measuring closer to fifteen. Um, but it, everything looked good there. She didn't do a whole lot except for measure it and look at its heart rate. And the heart rate was 148, which I'm very happy with because as most of you know, um, our last pregnancy loss, the baby's heart rate was always very high, um, right before, and it probably had a lot to do with my Graves disease and my thyroid being untreated. So, um, I'm happy with that. Um, 
she also, well, I can, I can show you the ultrasound pictures. They aren't the best. It was just the doctor doing um, the quick ultrasound and it's not very clear, but this is, um, it looks like that's a leg that she's measuring there. Um, this is obviously a profile and this is a profile. And then that's another profile. And then there's this one that's uh, kind of like a front view with the arms by the head and the legs crossed. So um, it wasn't a real detailed ultrasound, but it was nice to see the baby. Um, I have been hearing the baby's heartbeat and the baby's movements on my monitor when I use it. Um, I'm still hiding my pregnancy from my children and from my parents and other people. Um, it's getting harder because I'm definitely getting to the point where you can tell. I just wear bigger clothes um, when I'm at home and uh, I do plan to tell them sometime. It's just hard to know. I wanted to try to get to 20 weeks before I told them, but you know, that's still another like five weeks away. So I'm not sure if that's going to work, but we'll see. So um, my next appointment is actually at the big hospital. Um, and that's on January 30th. That's for a cervical length check. And I will be right around 16 weeks. And they are going to call me about the injection. So I'm hoping I can get the injection the same day. Um, and then I have an anatomy ultrasound that's either scheduled for February 18th or 20th. And I can't remember which day because I have an appointment both days. Um, now things are going to start getting busy as far as um, like... With this pregnancy um, at just as much as things are getting a little stressful you know obviously because I'm I'm coming to the point that I was when I lost Olivia and um, it's scary but I do have a better or a good feeling about this I hate to I don't want to be stupid you know but I just I do so anyway um, I think that's all the update I have for now and I will update before my next appointment um, I want to do a video on like what our plans are for like finding out the gender and everything. So um, I'll do that in a couple of days or maybe like a week. So I will talk to you guys then.